Hello and welcome to your international MBA from Birmingham City University and congratulations on choosing a new journey of education. And more importantly, welcome to Strategic Human Resource Management or as we call it, SHRM. This series of lecture videos will comprise of 10 sessions, each with three lessons. Your learning outcome for this particular lesson is revolved around building an overall understanding on SHRM and what it entails. So everyone has heard something about HR. And if you are working, then you would have experienced HR. Yet what do you mean by SHRM? It's a new and improved approach to HR, not focusing on the basic HR functions like recruitment, selection, performance appraisal, and health and safety. On the other hand, SHRM focuses on strategy and how HR aligns with the strategy. SHRM is a strategic viewpoint. It connects HR with the external environment and also with internal company objectives. SHRM is a game changer because HR is no longer a reactive process in the company. SHRM is what will make the company gain competitive advantage. And finally, SHRM is HRM's revolutionary face. HR has come a long way, and as of now, SHRM is the latest look of human resource management. In order to truly understand SHRM, it is essential for us to know HR's journey throughout the years. As shown in this picture, HR started off as a business function where it was more personnel management and concerned itself only with administrative functions like payroll, benefits, time and attendance. As organizations grew and recruited more and more skillful workers, the concept of HR as a business partner emerged. Now it started taking care of recruitment, learning, training, development, organizational design, compensation, employee communications, and HR information systems. This is where HR is for most companies. However, HR has developed further, and unfortunately, only a few companies have adopted. Today, HR is a strategic partner to the organization, and it overlooks talent management, performance management, competency management, and succession planning. What's more, HR today, or rather SHRM, is aligned with other business functions as well as the organization's strategic intent, which is the vision, mission, and the objectives. SHRM is diverse, it is vast, and it is complex. Strategic human resource management is the process of linking the human resource function with the strategic objectives of the organization in order to improve performance. No strategy, no matter how well developed, will work unless the organization has the right people with the right skills and behaviors in the right roles, motivated in the right way and supported by the right leader. And this is exactly where SHRM comes in. You will have an entire lesson on SHRM definitions, but to give you an idea, SHRM has several definitions written by several scholars. Armstrong defined it as an approach to making decisions on the intentions and plans of the organization concerning the employment relationship and the organization's recruitment, training, development, performance management, and the organization's strategies and practices and policies. Meanwhile, Britt and McMahon defined SHRM as the pattern of planned human resource deployments and activities intended to enable an organization to achieve its goals. HR is constantly evolving, and since SHRM is linked with the macro environment, the game is ever changing. There are new laws, new opportunities, and potential challenges that cause HR professionals to always be abreast of trends. 
there are many trends predicted for SHRM in 2020. Here are four of the hottest employee experience topics that HR professionals will be tasked with addressing in the next decade. Retaliation in the workplace, harassment prevention training, new approaches to workplace culture, and data transparency. The role of HR professionals have changed dramatically along with the workforce and the economy. And this evolution will continue as machines and technology replaces tasks once performed by humans. But that doesn't make people or the HR teams that work with them any less important in an organization. Tomorrow's HR leaders will need to be bigger, broader thinkers, and they'll have to be tech savvy and flexible enough to deal with an increasingly agile and restless workforce. Nowadays, the stock of the HR professional is rising, with some HR practitioners being asked to even join the boardroom instead of just visiting it. Many organizations are ditching the title of HR manager. They in turn choose chief happiness officer, director, or talent attraction strategist, or even head of optimistic people. And this means that HR practitioners must look at new and improved ways of working. They must always embrace technology and analytics, understand how the company succeeds, stay focused on people, be ready for the new age workforce or Generation C, market a modern benefits package, and of course, stay abreast of compliance issues.